What's up everybody? Brad here and uh, I got myself two more three-wheelers on Saturday so I'm gonna be showing you guys. All right I got them over here. Uh, there we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh the camera's a little bit dirty. There we go. So this one's uh, I believe it's a 1982. It's a Yamaha 125 Yamaha. Yep pretty cool this one runs um, there's no gas in it right now and I need a new fuel line but yeah this one this one's good I just need a couple things I bought a, a piece for a shifter so then uh, it'll connect up like that and everything so I can shift bought a new fuel line and a new air filter and uh, that's pretty much all this one needs. If you want to hear it running, there's a different video. And then this one, this one's going to take a lot of work. Um, it feels like it has no compression and it's got crappy spark. So I'm not sure what I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, what I was thinking of actually taking the, this 140 engine out of, out of this frame and putting it on that other frame. Because I think it might fit better, but I don't know. I already did a bunch of work on this three-wheeler, so I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. So, yeah. I, I got both of these for 500 bucks. Um, yeah, this seat was not ripped when I got it, but I accidentally ripped it, and it just, it, it's kind of, it's just old. It it just keeps tearing and tearing so I think it's it it's gonna need a, a new seat cover but that's kind of that's more of a want than a need really uh, I'm gonna have to do something with this choke cable because it doesn't work properly but yeah this one runs good uh, there's no gas in it well, there is gas in the tank, but the fuel line doesn't reach over. Uh, let's think, what else did I order for this? I think I'm gonna order a, a lever, lever for up here, for the brake, because this thing does not have a clutch. I thought it might have had a clutch, but it doesn't. So yeah, maybe soon I can get a GoPro or something and have some videos of me riding this thing around on a in the woods because uh, I know my uncle is planning on my uncle and my stepdad are planning on going riding soon in like a month or so this thing will definitely be done by then so yeah I could probably go riding with them not sure I might just part this one out because I I bet I can get $500 out of just all the parts on here way more than that probably actually so yeah i also i borrowed the 500 dollars from my grandma so i have to pay her back but i bet i i can easily get like double or triple that amount well okay maybe not that but a lot of money just from the parts on this one because the, these these plastics are really nice not cracked they got they got some scratches and all that but they're not bad at all i wish this wasn't like torn because i can't find another one so that's that's a shame this one's also a little bit ruined i'm not sure what happened to these maybe they melted in the sun um these front flaps are in nice condition and these front fenders Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Might sell it. Might try, but here's me. Just it's got a spark plug in it, and yep, I could just spin it over really easy, like nothing. So yeah, it might need a top end rebuild and like a new CDI and a new coil, but. That's gonna be like 500 bucks just to do that, and I, I really don't want to do that, so I don't know. But it just feels like it's got no compression. Maybe the valves are not shutting all the way, but I'm not sure. 
not sure how to really tell that, but yeah, I can just spin this over really easy, and that's not really a good sign. It feels, it's got like a, it feels like there's a little tiny bit of compression. You can also hear that clicking sound. I don't know what that is either. So yeah, I have the, I have the carburetor off of it right now because I was trying to clean it. But not like that's going to matter because this thing definitely isn't going to run. Uh, I had this, uh, I jerry-rigged this pull cord from that ATC90 engine. I jerry-rigged it on there earlier, but I took it off. Because, like, it doesn't quite go on there right. So, yeah. Might sell this one. I'm not sure. But this one though, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one really nice. This one's gonna be really nice. Um, this one, it was it was getting spark and compression. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't running, and so I was like, huh. I was trying to figure out what was wrong with it, and I had the carburetor off, and I was able to see the reeds, and I pulled it, and I pressed down on the reeds, and I just heard. Like there was a ton of pressure releasing from there. Like I know there's supposed to be pressure building up in there, but it sounded like way too much. So I took the exhaust off and it just fired right up. And then I then I found out it was just the muffler that was plugged. So yeah, I'm, I might take it to a place to get it uh, fixed. But there's like a bunch of mud and crap in there and all that. So it's just not letting any air go through. So yeah. That's about it for now, I'd, I'd say. Um, if you want to hear this thing start up, there's a, another video. I suggest watching the part two one because it runs for longer. Um, I think I'm going to replace the tires on this one. This tire is no good. There's like it's, there's a couple cracks in it and kind of doesn't really hold air very well. But these other tires are decent, so if I get new tires, I'll just keep the good ones around in case I get a flat or something. Uh, these Honda tires, all the, all the tires on the Honda are good. So if you have any suggestions about, about how to fix this, I tried um, spraying some WD-40 on the connectors in this thing to see if it would help at all, and it kind of helped a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have the kill switch, but it still gets spark, which is kind of strange to me. So I'm not really sure, like, how you even shut it off when it is on. Um, I'm assuming you could just put the choke on and it would just kill it. Yeah. I think really that yellow one is probably worth 500 bucks on its own. So, yeah. I, I might be able to get, you know, my money back if I well, not really my money, my grandma's money. I could get that back from parting this thing out. But that's not really something I want to do. I really want to get this thing running so me and my friends can ride them. So yeah, I might figure something out. I might throw that other China engine. I might throw that China engine in here this weekend maybe. And yeah, that's it.